In this series of videos, we've seen how to use Thumbnail Later to resize an image. In this video, we're going to see how to watermark an image with Thumbnail Later. First, we need a watermark. I created a watermark image, uh, put it up in GitHub, and you see it old date, but nonetheless, you still get the idea. Copyright 2015, plainplaces.com. And then I added it to my computer in this photos directory. Wiring this up is actually very straightforward once we have that image accessible to us. We can simply add this logic to our process photo method and we can do it all in just a few lines. So first of all, we already have several ingredients that we need for the location of the image. It's the same photo path where our other photos are stored. That doesn't necessarily have to be the case, it just makes it a little bit easier on us. Also notice it's watermark PNG, it's a PNG file, so we already know the name. So we simply take the photo path, add the separator, and then add the file name. Next, we can make a file out of this. Unlike the existing watermark path, which is a string, the watermark file, which is a file object, contains actual metadata about the file itself. Next, let's read in the image. Import image IO, do our control alt V trick, and we can assign this to watermark. Now you notice it's giving me a red line and that's because there's an exception that can be thrown. So I'm going to go ahead and move this within my try block. Do a bit of tidy up here. Next, we simply need another one of these thumbnails.of lines to actually add the watermark to the file. We will add the watermark and then resize the image. So for adding the watermark, it's simply thumbnails of file scale one, and then dot watermark. And then we simply say positions, bottom right, which will tell us where that watermark is going to go. And then the watermark file. And then essentially a transparency indicator, 0.9F we'll use for that. And then finally to file, just as we did before with the thumbnailization that we did below. Now one neat thing that we can do is apply the watermark to the image before we resize it. That way it's going to be both on the large view and on the smaller view. As luck would have it, the parameter that we receive here is the path to the full image, and that's what we're getting off of our Kafka topic. You notice that we turn it into a file object on line number 26, so it's easy enough. I can just use that exact same file, the original file, and I can apply this watermark to it, and then after that I can resize it. So I've snapped a breakpoint, and I've started the application. Let's grab this red bud right here and submit. IntelliJ lights up, and we notice that this is actually the first part of the microservice. In other words, the upload photo microservice that's about to throw it onto the topic, and then after that we'll see the resize and watermark photo part. We'll simply choose F9 to add it to the topic, and then it wasn't very obvious there in that switchover, but if, if you rewind for a moment and slow that down, what you'll notice is that the breakpoint that just picked up is actually in my other idea instance, and it is the other microservice, the one that is simply processing the photo. I think that's kind of neat. We can see that the producer to the topic, we can hold that on a debug, and then as soon as we release the breakpoint, we see it pick up on the consumer side nearly immediately. So just as before, we can F8 through this, come up with all of our paths. We can ensure that we're getting the watermark image, make sure that's not null or anything funny. And now it does look like we have some data in there. Now we apply the watermark, now we resize the image, and because everything was successful, we didn't get an exception, so the catch block never fired. So we can put this message back on our photo out topic, and we know that photo out topic means success. So I choose F9. And now we can validate our results as we have before. We simply navigate to our photos directory. We can take a look at our thumbnail and confirm that there is the red bud that we just resized. Now that's gonna be a little too small to see the watermark, which is why I went ahead and put it on the original as well. So we can open up the original and I'll need to zoom a little bit because it is black text, which is a bit tricky to see on that background. But if I zoom up, do you notice that copyright 2015 plainplaces.com indeed is a watermark that was applied on the lower right corner of this image. So in this video, we've seen how to watermark an image with Thumbnail Later in a Spring Boot project and using Maven and IntelliJ IDEA. As always, I hope this video was helpful and I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.